wicked, 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 wicked. Wicked tones, you know what I'm saying? Start knees together. Sit down the squat. Lean back on this one. So be taller and lean back. Sit up top. Sit up top. Just start out here. Let your knees just cave in. No body movement. Go. Yep. Yep. Feel that hip tuck in. In and then open. Yep. 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 Put that hip down. Rock. Down. Rock. Two. Good now. Good. I'm going to do one leg at a time. Good. So this leg first. I want you to hold on here. I want when you pull, so sorry, you're going to crunch over all this leans here and you extend that leg out. So we're going to pull with that hand and literally bend that elbow and rock through that kick out. There you go. So rock away from it, relax. You feel that foot get taken and that shin get taken, then rock through it. Yeah. So base the power, pull into there. Yeah. Just think extend, not to the ceiling, out in front of you. There you go. Good. Put it on 50. Let's start this one with a hold. So squeeze out a rep. Hold. Fight me. Fight me. Good. Down. All the way down. All the way down. All the way down. Half up. Good. Keep kicking like that. Yeah, a little higher. A little more speed. Two. One. Good. Yeah. So we're going to start this here. Tight hamstring, let that foot drop relaxed. All the way down, rock. Yeah, all the way, grab. Yeah, so keep that hip there. Yeah, let that relax longer, roll. Start in that crack position. So hold that hamstring tight, let that foot drop relaxed. Tension here only, longer, 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 go. There you go. Yeah, really long, relax, drive, keep that hip there. Yeah. All that pressure's on your heel. Yeah, longer. Longer, roll. Yeah, longer, roll. Yeah. Two. One. Good man. Good. Yeah. Feel that pressure. Yeah. Try and be relaxed down here. So you're guarding because you're putting that hip up. So just relax this body down. Kick out on the shin only. So just keep it there and relax back in and out. Go. Squeeze all the way out. There you go. Pull yourself down to this side. Just pull down. Yep. Yep. Relax. Yep. Drop. Yeah. One. Good. Down. 70. Yep. Connect again. Drop to the side you're kicking. Just crunch. Yep. Yep. Lean away. Yeah, rock. There you go. Get that rope. There you go. Rocking and kicking. Yeah. Two. One. Good. Last one. 50. Hold this one. Hold. Squeeze hard. Great. Quick. All the way down. Flick. Yeah. Little ones. Yeah. Two. One. Good man. Yeah. Try and hook that one so you're stuck. There you go. Relax this hip. Just push on your shin only. More, 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 more. Go. Fall. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Drop towards it. Yeah. Use that hand and pull. One. Good. 70. Yeah. Same thing. Drop towards it. Yeah. There you go. Lean. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Flex through it. Yeah. Yeah. Two. One. Fifty. Yep. Good. Hold. Flex hard. Break. Flick. Yeah. Yeah. Two. One. Good. Yeah. Good. Go back to the other side. Uh, yeah. Overload him a little bit. See what happens. A lot of the warm-ups and the, the lead up to like the actual work is always the same. Just to get blood in there and get people feeling good. And then we get moving. Hop on here. So we're gonna go here. 
for some fuckery, and then we're gonna hop off. You're gonna lunge down. We're gonna hop on that press at the end there. Good. Move those feet in a little bit. Keep that same idea. I think the knees are open just where they were when you were there. So your feet are in tight, but your knees are still open. Yeah. No, so leave your foot there. Just let that knee rock open. Yeah. And let that knee drive up to me. There you go. Yep. Feet collects the weight and dri drives you back out. Yep. Three more. Two more. One more. Good racket. Same kind of stance you had over there. Good, you're gonna have more hip pressure back into here so you can literally lean forward if you want, chest up tall and press your chest back now. So kick that knee out and let that stomach fold onto that quad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Imagine you're pressing yourself straight off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Drive the hip back, not your back. Mm -hmm. Open up a little bit. Three more. Two more. One. Good rack. Good. Yep, good. Good. Crack those knees and set that hip down a bit. Yeah. Drop into those legs. Push out. Mm -hmm. Fold into them. Press. Yep. Yeah. Two. One. Breathe, hold. Two. Come on. One. Good. Hold. Go. Squeeze out. Feet jam the quad. Yeah. Four. Two. One. Good. Come to the top. Breathe. Good. Crack. Crack in a half squat. Drop. Go. Five. Yep. Two. One. Rack. Mm -hmm. Open a bit. They're sliding beside you. Yep. Two. One. Good. Stay there. Come down. Go again. Get that flexing feeling. Yep. Yep. Three. Two, one, come up, breathe, relax, relax. Crack those knees a bit, knees open, go. Yeah, four, one, two, three, good. All the way, good now. Good. Easy. Oh, I was expecting one more. <laughs> no kicking and screaming or Bitching and moaning. <laughs> just doing the work. It's because I'm expecting to get the set, the set to get progressively harder. <laughs> so I'm just saving it. <laughs> it's like I've sussed it out, it gets harder every set. <laughs> They're uh, clickbait videos. Yeah. It's a killer hot. leg workout. <laughs> you're doing half this workload and you're fucking crying about your workout. It's like, I'm trying to save my breath. Yeah. Hard to drink. I don't know how people drink on leg day. No, nah, it makes you feel sick, it? especially that intra-workout. I'd rather just like Fuck. not drink it. Too much intra-workout. I just don't want to puke. Yeah. Same drop as the hack in there. Sink into your hips. Push your weight down through. Don't rush the first few. Yeah. One. 
Good. Breathe at the top, hold. Go. Yeah. Settle and squeeze. Get that quad, the foot and quad get you out of the bottom. Yeah. Flex out. Mm -hmm. Good, hold and breathe. All the way down, three quarters of the way up, no stopping. Down, yep, yeah, yep, two, one, good man, yep, good. two, one, good, give this to me, go to the bottom, put your arms in front of you, bounce to me, two, one, good, yep. <laughs> they're I fucking massive. <laughs> they're gonna, they're gonna blow off. It's up, man. They're gonna, they're gonna pop. How would you rate that? Good. It was good. It was specific, you know. Like the pump was crazy. That's what I find with these workouts. They're not like, it's like they're so focused on the muscle that you're trying to target. The pump and connections, mad. Like my legs, so blown up. Not a lot of talking going on when people are, when someone's training hard, right? It's like, so these guys who are having these epic leg workouts and fucking saying, oh, it's this and it's that, and they're in full-blown conversation mode and joking and laughing or like literally even discussing what it is that they're doing while in the midst of it. Like if you're in the midst of an intense leg workout, the last thing you want to do is be talking about how intense the leg workout is because it's just like you're focused on getting through it right so so i'm not like shooting the shit with him or fucking hey how was your weekend <laughs> i mean it's like he's here to work so let's work and when it's over we can do whatever the fuck we want right but it's just that mentality of training is is gone nowadays because everyone has to do content that's like entertaining or oh no one's gonna like that because we're not talking and, be, and joking and making asses of ourselves or fucking over over explaining the simplest maneuver like everyone knows what a hack squat is everyone fucking knows what a leg extension is if you're watching the video and you don't like you're where the fuck are you living under a rock like so it's just i just feel like that's it's a pleasure to train guys like jamie because it's it's here to work man like you're not here to not rolling in with an entourage of 10 people and his own videographer and his own fucking this and that you know what i mean it's here to get ready for a show and putting everything into it and just ask it, looking for help from people like me and other guys in the gym he's been training with. So it's a pleasure, right? So that's how it should be. This is what bodybuilding is. It's doing your work and then when he steps on stage, he gets to show everyone the work he's put in up there, right? It doesn't matter out here. That's one reason why I don't like to not take bonus over. Yeah. And that's like a very, that's a very old school mentality, right? Like, that's the best that I was oh, we can already see your legs pretty well. So it's like, <laughs> we got a good understanding of what's going on. Yeah. Pretty sure the rest is okay. So that's what I mean. Like ever these guys posting progress pictures, like I understand it. I understand it because they're, they're with supplement companies and they're with, they have obligations. It's maybe not their own choice to do so. But at, at the end of the day, you can tell your supplement company like, listen, man, I want a little bit of like, a little bit of a mystery going on here or like I want to like at least the last five weeks or six weeks I kind of want to go dark on people and show up on stage and, and a lot of the times you a lot of the times when guys you get like oh we saw a picture of so-and-so you'd see like their forearm yeah, yeah. and you'd be like you'd, and they'd be like they'd be like extrapolating like oh his forearm looks this diced he must be fucking shredded or like they see his face right they don't see his body yeah. the real show for them is everyone telling them how great they are instead of the people that it matters, who's to, like, because if you're a competitor, the six or however many judges that are in front of you, those are the ones that, that matter. Everyone in the audience can be cheering for you, but if they don't like you, and you didn't put your work in, you're gonna find out real quick. Like, those are the people you want giving a fuck, right? Even though some of them are fucking lost in space. <laughs>